Welcome back to Sequestered Signing. It is week one, day five. Now, we have practiced our introductions this week. You've learned your introductions, and if you've gone to the practice prompts in the Instagram account, ASR Rochelle, you will have seen all the practice prompts and how they build on each other as we go. Now, you learned how you refined and learned or learned the alphabet on day three, and you did numbers day four, Today we're gonna to talk about finger spelling. So you can take the alphabet. I wanted to give you some time to really make sure you had it mastered before we went to finger spelling. Now you need finger spelling for any and all scenarios. Any word is free game to be finger spelled. It doesn't matter if it has a sign or doesn't have a sign associated with it. Um, you can finger spell it. Okay, so let's really quick go over the rules, the basic rules of finger spelling. The first rule is to not bounce your hand. So you don't wanna go up and down like this. Now, some people, most people aren't gonna be like, whoa, 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 but you'll be moving your hand and you won't really realize it. A lot of people will knock their hands out or they'll go like this, so they'll go, my name is Bailey. So they're moving their hand. So you don't wanna move your hand up and down, you don't wanna knock your hands out. So if you feel like your hand is moving, and I definitely recommend either videoing yourself doing this or watching in a mirror to make sure, or just look over at your hand while your finger's smelling. If you see any movement, it's a very easy fix. You can just hold your elbow here with your other hand, just give it something to rest into, and you just take off, take the weight of your arm and then you can do it. And if you move, you'll be able to feel it more and you'll be, you'll, it'll help you be more aware of it and stop it, okay? And then once you get used to this, then you can remove your hand and, fing and finger spell and you won't naturally keep trying to bounce it, okay? It'll, it'll help you build up the skill of not moving, okay? Sometimes you will move and it'll be appropriate, but the bouncing and the knocking is not. Okay, this, if you're going like this, is yelling in sign language, all right? If you're like doing this forward yelly motion, okay? All right, the other ones, those are, that's really the basic one you wanna know. Double letters, you slide them or you can tap them. It depends on what the letter is. All else fails, you can slide them. I do have a video um, on my YouTube channel ASL Rochelle that's specifically double letters so you can do a quick search ASL Rochelle double letters and I have a whole video on all the specific letters that you need to know um, which ones to tap which ones to slide um, it's always safest to slide because um, there are several letters that you cannot tap okay like oh you don't tap O all right um, but you would slide it. So if you're doing a double letter, so um, let's see. If I was finger spelling the word Mississippi, there's lots of double letters in that word, right? I would go M-I-S-S, -S, so I would go M-I-S, slide it to the right, and I leave my hand here. I-S-S, -S, slide it out some more. I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. okay? So when you slide your hand out for a double letter, you leave it there. You don't go M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I, -S 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 -I -I, right? You don't go back and forth, okay? Now, if you're doing like this whole title, oh, the Mississippi Manifest or whatever, you would go the Mississippi, and you would leave your hand here for the next word, manifest. But if you were gonna, once you did like the title, oh, it's the Mississippi Manifest, then you would, and you're gonna sign, blah, 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 and you're gonna finger spell again, then you would start right where you normally finger spell. Also, when you finger spell, take your dominant hand, have your hands by your side like this, and just raise it up right here. So you wanna keep your hand comfortable. You don't wanna finger spell up here, you don't wanna finger spell out here. This causes a lot of fatigue. Um, your hand, your arm, your elbow, your shoulder is gonna get tired really quick, okay? So you need to be real careful. And so the best way to do that is to keep it tucked in, like your body can help hold it if you have it tucked in here. And you wanna keep your hand real relaxed. 
and it's just right in here. Rochelle, okay? Just keep it right here. I mean, like you don't, keep, you're not like squeezing it in, but you're just having it comfortable. Just hold it at this comfortable angle right here in front of your shoulder. Okay, and then if you slide out, you'll move it out and you bring it back in for the next, you know, for the next thing that your finger's spelling. Okay, all right. Now, that's basically what you want to do. The goal is to have the the letters smooth. It's important that when you are finger spelling, you're not naming the letters in your mind. So like when I did M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I, -S 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 when I was showing you the sliding, when I'm spelling Mississippi, I'm not going M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S -S -I -I. I'm going Mississippi. I'm sounding it out. I'm saying the word. Okay, so you don't want to name the letters when it's being finger spelled to you, and you don't want to name the letters when you are finger spelling. Okay, you've got to think of each of these words as a whole unit, as a word. Okay, that's important. Um, and so when you are going to finger spell words, you want to make the movements between letters as smooth as you can. You know, you want to. B A N A N A. So I'm trying to keep my hands smooth and not space between the letters. Okay, like not like time between the letters. And you don't want to open your hand up to get into the next letter. You just want to smoothly move into that um, next letter. Like B to an A. I don't go B and then I go O or A. I go B straight down into the A, right? So you, that comes with drilling your letters and really practicing them, really knowing the letters so you don't have to stop and think, now what does that letter look like or how do I sign that letter? It's important that you really master each of the letters so very well before you start stringing letter, words together. Okay, so that's super important for you to know as well. When we did this live, we did go over names, like we practiced a bunch of different names. So we'll just do here a couple, and then in the practice prompt, there's some more ideas for you to do. What you can do is just think of all, like, write down 10 names that, you know, any 10 names, it doesn't matter what, and then just practice those several times until you feel real comfortable with each of those names. Um, if you're not yet comfortable with the alphabet, then make sure that you're comfortable there before you start in the names. I don't want you to go, oh, I'm going to go straight to the names, but you're still like, mm, I don't know that letter, or you practice signing the wrong letter, and I want you to reinforce that. So I want you to really make sure that you know that. So if you're not sure if you really have mastered the alphabet, go to week one, day three video where we go over the alphabet. Again, on my YouTube channel, ASL Rochelle. All of my social media is ASL Rochelle. If you're ever like, what is that? ASL Rochelle, it's that. I do have some more, longer alphabet videos you can check out there as well. Okay, so let's do a couple of names together. First, we'll do Bob. That's a good old standby. B-O-B, -B, Bob. So if you're not sure how to spell it, think of the name first, how to spell it, and then finger spell the word. So I've got Bob, I'm telling you it's B-O-B, -B, it's Bob. B-O-B, -B, Bob. Okay, now if you can't go as fast as me, that's fine. I frequently forget to go slow. I'm like, I'm trying to go slow, and then I, I, I'm terrible. I typically have to have my lovely video editors <laughs> slow my hand down for me. <laughs> All right. Let's do Elvis. Okay, we'll finger spell Elvis. Okay, let's do it again. Good, let's think of a name. Uh, Megan, we'll do Megan, because it's got an M and an N. Okay, we'll do it again. All right, Trevor, let's do Trevor. Okay, we'll do it again, I'll go slower.
So when I talk about not really having that space, so even if you're going slow, you can still be smooth. Okay, so you can see when I did, when I went slower with Trevor, I was like this. I'm gonna rest my hand because I've been signing a lot today. It's getting tired. So it's still a smoothness and a, an efficiency between the letters. Okay, I'm trying to think of some examples of how, like some really clear examples. Um, so if you're going slow, it's really good to go, okay, so I've got this T here, I'm gonna go into the R. So I can keep all of these hands down, fingers down, all I need to do is pop these two fingers up and move my thumb over, okay? And now I'm gonna go down into the E, okay? So my thumb, so you just go, okay, I'm here. What is the smallest amount of movement I can get from this R down to the E? And then we're going to a V. So I'm gonna just pop up these two fingers here, V. And then my thumb just kind of catches those fingers as they pop forward, right? And I'm going to the O. Just bring those down, O. Now I'm going to do my R. And I see they're already here. All I have to do is go boom, straight up to the R. So you want to think of what's the smallest amount of movements that you can make to move to the next letter. And that's how you get smoother. So you start out doing that slow. Now this is super important. Everybody wants to be able to fingerspell fast. That is not your goal. Your goal is clarity. That is like the biggest value of the, diff, of the deaf community is clarity. They would rather you be slow and clear than fast and a muddled mess, okay? So I don't want you anxious, like sweating, like feeling bad or shaming yourself for me, like, oh my gosh, if only I was faster, if only I could do this. Perfect, he signs faster than I do. Is she finger spells faster than I do? Nobody cares. It's not important, okay? So what you need to do is practice being clear, being accurate, okay? Then with time and experience, consistent practice, your speed is going to naturally increase, okay? You can eventually push yourself to be a little bit faster, but it's going to happen naturally, okay? You don't have to force it. Please don't force it, okay? Clarity, accuracy, clarity, accuracy. I really wish I had remembered to talk about this at the beginning of this video because I'm hoping that you guys all stuck around for this part of the video. <laughs> all right, that's one of the big rules. <clears throat> clarity, accuracy over speed. Is speed more important or is clarity more important? Clarity is more important, all right. Just making sure you're paying attention. Uh, head over to the practice prompt and practice names. Um, I have some listed out there for you in the practice prompt. It says week one, day five. Also, or you just make up however many names you want. Make sure you don't fatigue yourself. If your hand or your elbow gets tired, stop. Don't keep going, all right? Um, you'll injure yourself and that's no bueno.